All right. Okay. So hello, dearsts, and welcome to the video on the preparation of our Scotch tape swab. All right. So uh, again, your Scotch tape swab. Recall, it's the gold standard. No, the reference method for the diagnosis of Enterobius vermicularis or your pinworm. All right. Now the preparation of Scotch tape swab is quite easy, lang naman. All right. So before we start, we then first uh, look at the materials that we need. Okay. So first, of course, we need uh, your two uh, slides. Okay. So these are frosted slides. Next, of course, uh, the main <laughs> star ng Pasko, yes, is your scotch tape. And then you have scissors, again, to cut the scotch tape later. And then you have the tongue depressor later uh, to demonstrate how to uh, get the sample for scotch tape swab. And lastly, your pieces of paper, which will serve as your label after getting your sample. Okay. So for the first step, um, you then check your slide okay make sure that it's clean medyo ano pa to siya okay <laughs> all right but anyway make sure that it's clean and then you can use frosted or non frosted no but for this video i use the frosted slide kay muni ang slide na sa ko ah. all right i'm still not using i'm not wearing gloves lang because again i'm i'm just preparing the swab okay all right so again once you determine the front and the back okay so this is the back this is the front okay we then get your scotch tape okay as you can see it's already freed all right and then we stretch that okay and then at the back of your slide you then attach the freed end mga half okay all right half okay and then what you do next is then you pull your scotch tape swab all over the slide okay the length of the slide until the end okay all right and then before cutting, you then leave a a small parang area, no, a freed tape, okay, here. All right, so that's done, and then we then attach your paper, which will serve as your label, okay. So we attach it here, okay, and that's it. So this is now your <laughs> scotch tape swab. This is the front, okay, and this is the back. All right. Okay, now we go now to how do we um, collect your sample. Okay. okay, now for the next part, we'll show now a demonstration on how to collect your sample. Okay, but for this demonstration, of course, well, ako hindi ko magamit ng grill na anus <laughs> or perianal region. <laughs> we'll just um, imagine using my two fingers. Wow, yes, fingers char. Okay, all right. Now um, again. Uh, precaution how we should be already wearing our complete PPE here gloves mask um, in a way kaya pa sa lab gown no because again recall that your eggs are highly infectious so we must protect ourselves then okay now again um, using this uh, scotch tape swab diba using this flap again it's much recommended to use mga papers na medyo hard ang texture or medyo sturdy sturdier siya like um, index cards kay medyo uh it can withstand pag birani mo. Okay? Alright. So, our first step is, again, this is the front. Uh, front. Then, this is the back. Okay. Now, using this flap, no? Uh, uh, before that, the eye. But again, for collection timing, uh, you can collect the sample um, late at night. Diba? Mga 10 to 11 p.m. Uh, mga basta nakatulog na ang patient for pila ka hours. Or early morning, no? Uh, early morning upon waking up. As long as uh, the patient... Uh, haven't taken a bath yet or wala pa po siya nagwash sa iyahang perianal region. Okay? Alright. So, let's say that has been accomplished na ang mga criteria, timing of collection. So, we go now to the proper um, collection. Uh, sam proper sample collection. Okay, sorry naman. Medyo sabaw. Okay, so alright. So, we first, again, using this flap, we open your slide. Okay? Ayan. So, as you can see, that, that is now the sticky end. Okay, and as you can see, move stop sha. It will stop at the edge of the slide. Okay, Ayan. so using your um, tongue depressor, this will now serve as your support. Okay, all right, yeah. So, so this is now your preparation. No, so you adjust in a way your tongue depressor to the front. Okay, and then you then, ayan. okay, and then using your other hand, you get the flap. Okay, and now this will now serve as the uh, sticky area of your scotch tape swab where your eggs will be collected. Okay, now let's say you have your patient. Okay, this is the perianal region of your patient. Okay, perianal. Okay, perianal. 
Again, do not insert inside the anus, ha? Do not insert. Masakit yan. Char. Okay. Of course, dili lang ta sa perianal region. So, sa sides. Okay. So, ang mga sticky ends. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. So, yun mo siyang i-dapat. Okay. Lightly lang. Alright. And then, after, once you're done, you then get, again, the flap. Alright. And then, you then uh, place it back on the slide. Okay, all right, and basically that's it. No, this is now your scotch tape swab. This is now where you examine. This is now where your eggs are located. You examine under the LPO of the microscope, and of course, do not forget after getting your sample, you label. Okay, you label um, the the slide with the name of the patient, uh, his or her birthday, if na amangani, and other important information. Okay, and we can examine it under the microscope using LPO. And we can use toluene or xylol to clear the preparation. Okay? Alright. So, in a way, yes, that is now your scotch tape swab. Again, examine and look for the characteristic eggs of your Enterobius vermicularis. D-shaped, flattened on one end, no? Uh, and elongated na mga eggs. D-shaped. Okay, alright. So, that's it. That's all for your scotch tape swab. <music>